Uh, next bit of news. News. We're news about flash. Uh, sprint cars at yep. Bristol. It's Bristol, baby. Yeah. It's a death trap, baby. Scary stuff. Yeah. So uh, I know we have some fan questions about it, too. So, uh, but. Uh, David Gravel swept the weekend, yes. and D- Stuart Friesen swept the weekend yes. uh, in the Big Black Modifieds, who were there in support of the World Outlaw Sprint Cars. Uh, low on the car count, a little light on the car count compared to, Doesn't you know, surprise me. which we kind of guessed, yep. uh, especially after seeing how the late model stuff went mm-hmm. and all that. But uh, Big Blocks had a good showing, though. 42 cars, I think, yes. showed up for that. So uh, probably a little better fit for them to race on as yeah well. well they're used to big long tracks i mean like just not banked necessarily right but, yeah just yeah. not banked and they have big blocks so they're used to cranking out horsepower yeah oh uh, yeah the sprint cars though man um <laughs> just 142 yeah mile prior average is a track record gravel had it friday sam haver, haver teeth during the day yeah did it. 17 drivers broke yes. it sunday during the day sunday 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 uh yeah um like I said, I know we got some fan questions about it, but um, I don't know how much you want to talk about it. Or you want to wait till fan questions? I don't care. Just I. What's it's your... your show? I'm just the dummy sitting here with the mic. Well, uh, that's true. You're a dummy. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I think I I went about how I thought it would. I yeah. thought it was gonna actually there wasn't any accidents, which was good. Yeah. Oh shit. Which that's why they wanted the field. I think. It opened some people's eyes. Hopefully, that was bitching about. Well, I don't understand why it's just not open to every everybody. Yeah. When you had World Outlaw regulars pulling in and not racing because they was too, I don't want to say scared. They just was uncomfortable. Yeah, uncomfortable. Um, that tells you it wasn't for everybody. Yeah, and um, and had like how Paul McMahon when he explained it yesterday. Uh, just wants to rip the right front. It buries the right front, and it just wants to rip your steering. Basically, rip the car out of your hands. Mm-hmm. It takes a, a it takes a special breed, even of sprint car drivers, to want to do yeah. that at 140 average. 142 average was probably 170 or 80 down the straights. But yeah, I mean, it it went about the way I thought it would. I didn't think there'd be a lot of cars because of. Uh, well, Right, so went through three engines. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, and um, just the speed factor in that, and the racing went about the way I thought. Actually, the racing was Friday night wasn't bad. Yeah, I mean, I mean last a... night, I mean gravel. I mean, it was at least a little battle for a little bit. Mm-hmm. I mean, it went but about. What, my thing is when when your restarts, they say we're gonna go single file restarts for safety. Yeah, like what are we doing here? What what's yeah? What are we doing? Like. This is racing. We should be able to race. Yeah. Now I understand it, and I agree with it. Right? Oh, call the for regular sure. starts are sketchy as hell. Yeah, now one. I know. Heat race. McMahon and Shots got together. Could have easily both. And there's two veterans. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Looking looking back at the whole Bristol thing, like Bristol covered in dirt. From that's why I didn't go. From Bristol Dirt Nationals to this weekend, including the Cup. You know, to me, it's it's a novelty for it's really a novelty for sprint cars yeah you know I, I think even for the late models it's kind of one of those things where yeah you check it off the box as i did yeah. it once and i'm good right uh you know the the nascar honestly the nascar racing is probably what's best for right yeah because there's there's a lot slower they're really not yep you know flying around and and they're not light they're big heavy cars and yeah um they you can know. keep the dirt smooth yeah for nascar as they did sprint cars and late models exactly well, especially sprint cars that need to be really smooth oh, yeah. it was yeah but uh, yeah it went it went what i get is i couldn't believe how many people are bitching one about the track condition oh daytime races drying out yeah no shit no shit sherlock <laughs> and especially with sun out too and I mean, people bitching about the quality of the racing it's like what did you expect if you are a sprint car fan and You've watched a sprint car race. You sh- I mean, that's just yeah. what you should expect. Exactly. It's like Eldora used to be. That's mm-hmm. why a lot of people bitch about Eldora. Well, it's just freight train. Mm-hmm. Well, you I- take a high speed car that's locked down. It needs to be slick so they can pass. Mm-hmm. But Bristol is a little different because the added banking keeps you locked in. Yes, keeps you locked in. And you got the. I, did you see? 
because you can see it like when you're at Eldora, you can see the cars like almost like a draft. You know, you mm -hmm. see them wiggle on that. Yeah, they but rock. man, when they got out of behind from each other at Bristol, you could even see it on TV how unstable those cars. Oh, were. I know. It's like was, Talladega for for sprint cars. My like, and I mean, it's 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 different than Eldora. It just is, and it's the shape and the banking. Uh, and, yeah, because it length. plants you, like I said. Yeah, the length of the straight. But I was just like dreading, like you said, watching the un instability of some of those cars, like just mm -hmm. waiting for someone to take a hard right going into a corner. Well, and, and I that, think they did pretty good. I mean, yeah, there's, but you didn't really see. Yeah, it was pretty much like if you're going to pass me, I'm letting you pass me. Exactly. You, you didn't know? see the, the, I don't want to say dirty sliders, but the, the big yeah. time sliders. You didn't see a lot of them. No. Yeah. And if you did, the other guy pretty much, okay, oh, okay go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Spot. I mean, there's a lot of gentlemanly racing. Mm -hmm. I agree. I mean, a lot of give and take because there's and all. There, and there had to be. Yes. I mean, it's it was yes. going to be very bad if there wasn't. So. Yes. Correct. Yeah. I mean, the big blocks, I think, are okay to race on that yes. often. Um, I, I, you know, late models, I just don't, as much shit as they had to do to their cars with steel wheels. I mean, you're adding cost for guys. Yeah. You know, you have to change all the shit, get your car to not lock down. I mean, yeah. Um, you know, I, I think, you know, a lot of stress on the right front. Yeah. Modifieds, I think, even like regular UMP modified type cars, I think maybe it's a little, probably a little better for them but they still have the same kind of well they're so unstable for them too yeah because of the neural tires exactly um and the way the suspension is they lift the left rear up and try to lock down mm -hmm. nowadays and i don't know i feel like it was just a novelty thing and i understand doing it for nascar like yep. continually i think and right may, maybe make it a little later in the day so they don't have to worry about glare through dust in the windshields and all that bullshit but um i think for dirt racing like it uh, we're good yeah like you we're fine you know <laughs> yeah um you know i don't my guess is most outlaw drivers granted it's probably not up to them it's probably up to the world racing my guess is if you polled all the outlaw drivers i'll bet you uh, three quarters of them would be like okay we did it once we're, we're, good. we're good yeah um we'd rather go to another track yeah and i don't know like would be my guess i don't know if the bristol dirt nationals thing was a uh, you know, I just think of the the lower classes that were there. They like the racing seemed to be a little better, but the track was more worn out, which yes. is what you need. Um, but you know, those little cars are popping motors too and stuff. So yes. I don't know. I, I don't know the need for Bristol dirt Bristol and in dirt racing. Like I said, do no. it for NASCAR and the trucks and There's all that. There's a handful shit. of guys that hunt balls out, yep. gravel, Macedo, Reitzel. Mm-hmm. I mean, hey, for team and qualifying. Didn't yeah, they really pulled in and first lap, they tagged the tail and pulled in. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, Jacob Allen didn't even race. I've yeah. seen a couple. Rico didn't do so well. He pulled in both nights, yeah. and I don't know. But I was thinking about that and not making fun of him, but did you hear those guys, how physical it was on them? Mm -hmm. I think about him. Yeah. I mean, it's it's physical for him, a little more physical for him to keep up on the tracks i gotta think about that place i i yeah. mean he it was probably a lot on his body yeah i mean it all real and he works out and stuff a lot yeah he's but but still well like you said it's just different you take a little figured person mm -hmm. i mean yeah you know I, I, yeah could be a lot to handle i mean oh it has to be i mean that's i wonder like I'm trying to think like a jason sides or someone you know yeah. like you know Jason runs well enough. Don't get me wrong, but you know when you go into a place like that, especially like the most notable accident, what back when they did it in the two thousands yeah. was was him. Uh, you know he's Paulie not, did pretty decent. Who Paul McMahon? Yeah, I thought yeah, he, he was. Decent. Yeah, I mean he's the primary CJB car now, so we'll talk for about right that. now. We'll talk about that in a little bit, but for right now, <laughs> yeah, I I don't know. Bristol to me was a novelty that hey we did it once. I mean, let it. I can see why I rolled outlaw. The world racing group would want to because big money a lot of fans mm -hmm. big pr it's good for the series but it's not good for the drivers yeah or the teams i think there's really. just there's just too much at in risk. my opinion there's yeah. just too much at risk well you can junk it. i mean we saw late model guys and practice night well look at look at right so 
three engines. Yeah. Granted, that can happen in other places, I understand. Yep. But it don't happen much. And there, just the slightest accident, you're going to write off sixty, seventy thousand dollars You're junking a car. Yeah, there's no... Yeah. There's no way at those speeds, if you crash, that your chassis is not going to be broke if you fall. Yeah. Or, yeah. you know, I mean, you know what I'm saying, like mm-hmm. junk, bent, yeah, bent, front end ripped off, whatever. Well, that's, like I said, I was, uh, it just takes one, two. Oh, yeah. I mean, we did the race, we did the race weekend with the sprint cars, no major accidents. Yay, we got through it, but like you shouldn't have the feeling of, we just got, we got through it. Yeah. We made it like, you know, the more you d- would do it, the chances of something oh, yeah. happening goes up. like you said they go into that banking and it just wants to turn them right yeah like, yeah that would not be a fun feeling all the lightweight speeds. stuff anymore just i don't know yeah no i i think i think it has its place but you know word of outlaw sprint cars are definitely not in that equation would be yeah. my two cents and, it, and i'd be surprised that some of the non-outlaw guys if they'd show up next year if they do it Mm-hmm. you might get a few other guys show up but yeah some of it was just like hey we wanted to try it once yeah we did we're good well, like ryan taylor i figured he'd be all right because he runs port royal yeah he actually didn't do pretty bad or you know didn't do bad at all yeah. but you know like a guy like that might go back but well dustin dag again probably not tim schaefer probably not probably not Derek hagar seemed to like it but like he says biggest thing for their program the biggest basically race fastest deal they've ever done obviously yep. would he go back i don't know yeah yeah i it was it was you tried it you did it i wouldn't want to do it again if i was the word of outlaws i don't know the the bottom line by any means the money they bring you bring in or what it yeah what it benefits but uh like you Sound said like that a lot of people there though friday night yeah the fan, I yesterday's mean the, crowd didn't look too bad the stands look good for yeah. you know obviously you know 20 30 thousand people looks like nothing at yeah. bristol i don't know if there's that many people there but and i don't well and i don't know i could be wrong but for some reason it stuck in my mind i seen somewhere suppose there's forty thousand people there on friday i, I wouldn't doubt it uh, i remember there was 50 there on 2000 for the late so models I mean, when i was so there there's forty thousand that i don't even know what the tickets were i think 40 bucks a night yeah no. Jesus. i think it's 40 bucks a night because i think it's 80 bucks for the two days Oof. pretty sure so yeah add that up once yeah <laughs> so i mean granted the outlaws don't get all that track gets yeah whatever probably most of it yeah um but, but i know wes Irwin said as the busiest hitter been in his life since yeah he worked out all deal i saw that well it's tennessee man nobody i mean they don't get open wheel right. cars and and then of course you had people from everywhere coming yeah, to watch bristol too. yeah i mean so i yeah we'll talk about it a little more i'm sure um and fan questions yes but, uh yeah kind of our two cents that's my two cents uh is yeah we tried it we did it i just think let nascar yeah continue and i agree do you think non-wing sprint cars would be any good no 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 i i maybe if it's licked off enough but it'd still be tough uh too much straightaway speed yeah well those cars when they go down in the corner preload no suspensions like they do too mm-hmm probably wouldn't be great no but, i don't think so yeah i mean anything you're gonna run on there you gotta have something without a lot of grip a lot yes. of mechanical grip and yeah we'll see we'll see how the future goes Silver Crown but, might be all right yeah just because they're longer smaller motors heavier yeah heavier longer longer wheelbase yeah yeah and smaller motors i mean they if you're any type of open wheel deal like that i'd say i don't know i'm thinking silver crown would probably be the best probably true Anyway.